Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my favorite series, and today we are going to be talking about my favorite Xbox One games. I know, I know, don't give a lot of love to Xbox, um, other than, you know, shooters and stuff like that. I, uh, I do have an Xbox One, and I play it uh, on occasion. Um, ever since I got my PlayStation 4, I've been playing that a little bit more. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I do have some, some good games on the Xbox One. Uh, so let's just go ahead and move on. Um, you know, I'm done apologizing for not playing my Xbox One as much as whatever. It's my game room. It's my games, whatever. So, <laughs> uh, Forza Horizon Three is, uh, is it Playground Games in 2016, and this is like one of the first. Xbox One games that I got. Uh, I think I bought it as a with the system or something like that. Um, Newegg was running some sort of deal, and I picked the thing up. And man, this this disc stayed in my system for such a long time, and I loved it. It was it's so much fun. I still go back and play every once in a while, and just go through and you know pick up the right, you know, a certain car, just take it out for a test drive and, you know, drift around some corners and stuff like that. But it's, it's really a lot of fun and worth your time. Next, we have Sunset Overdrive 2014 by Insomniac Games. Um, it's like a first person shooter combined with Jet Set Radio, um, it's just a river, Sam. or Jet Grind Radio, or, you know, which, whichever one you want to call it. Um, and, I mean, you've got the grind system where you can, like, fast travel that way, and there's a little bit of parkour, and then there's uh, using the really, really off-the-wall weird weapons, and how the enemies are, like, really odd, and use the crowbar to hang from cables while you're swinging around, and and like dodging and stuff, and it's it's very much a uh, an action-oriented shooter game, uh, and a little bit over the shoulder kind of style, but it's it's kind of tongue in cheek, and it does not take itself too seriously, and I like that. Um, and you know, just the the over the top sensationalism is a lot of fun. So. We're going to go on to a shooter. Uh, I'm going to butcher this name. Simonora EX? Simonora EX? Uh, uh, whatever. Trust me, I know I got the name wrong. Released in 2012 by Digital Reality. Uh, this is kind of a, a little bit of an off the wall side scrolling shooter, but it's fun. And. Um, nothing is, like, so punishing that it makes me throw the controller down and walk away from it. Um, it's, uh, it's actually just an enjoyable time where you can sit back and enjoy the story, um, you know, enjoy the animations that happen, and just have fun with dodging bullets and blowing your enemies out of the sky. So... Uh, the next two are a series. So it's Dishonored 1, uh, or just be flat Dishonored, released 2012 by Arcane Studios, and Dishonored 2 in 2016 by Arcane Studios. Uh, this is this kind of like weird detective style game. Um, I don't know, maybe it's like very reminiscent of the Batman Arkham games, kind of. But there's definitely like a lot more stealth involved um if you get caught you're in a lot of trouble um and there's multiple paths to victory in both of these games and i absolutely love it and uh 
just just all the stealth and the spells and the different ways that you can advance your character and the world is just this odd mix of like love lovecraftian steampunk magic infused weirdness you know it, it's just a lot of fun it's a great story um I plan on going back and beating both of them again and and just having a blast making different choices. So, we're going to go with the last one. Everybody knows it. Everybody's seen it. Halo 5. 2015 by 343 Industries. I know, I know. It's 343 Industries. They don't do good Halo games. End quote. Um... I don't care. I enjoyed myself. I had fun. I got to listen to Nathan Fillion again to, as a voice actor, uh, which was definitely worth the price of admission. And uh, I had fun with the game. I did not play any multiplayer online or anything like that. Try to stay away from that. Um, it's just not an environment that's conducted to my mental well-being um so uh but i played through the story i love the story i'm looking forward to halo 6 and um with all of that guys you know, that that's pretty much brings it up to all of my favorite xbox one games well that's it for this episode of mondane designs i'm your host mondane I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.